Hey, good morning, guys, and members of the USU Extension team. They're currently conducting classes throughout the state, including right here at Sully Community College. And what they're doing currently is focusing on those who are working in the service industry, folks who, in the course of their daily job, might be more likely to run into someone in the throes of an overdose and also give them the training not only to spot it, but to prevent that OD from becoming game over. According to a recent report by the Utah Department of Health and Human Services, 11 Utahns die each week due to a drug overdose. Seven are the result of opioids, either prescription meds or fentanyl. The bottom line is saving lives, right? Getting the education, having, knowing how to spot uh, the signs of a potential overdose, knowing how to respond to one, and feeling comfortable and confident that you know what you're doing. Now, thanks to a $30,000 grant from Utah State University, Gabby Mursa is currently providing that education to workers in the local service industry. Folks who might be more likely than others to encounter someone in the throes of an overdose. People who park cars, but also bartenders, people who work in restaurants, the so restaurant service, hotels and motels, gas station employees. Um, we're also working with uh, construction companies. We're trying to work with construction companies and also truck drivers. These students learn how to use naloxone and leave with a kit, which also includes information about emergency response and addiction recovery. Gabby and her team hope this seed grant will expand so they can keep the program going. But in the meantime, while we have the funds and while we have the, the, the faculty and the staff who want to do this and are able to, to contribute to this, um, we, we want to be able to do this training to as many businesses as possible. And our current overdose epidemic likely not going to be subsiding anytime soon. Later today, the Rocky Mountain Division of the Drug Enforcement Administration, they're set to have a press conference. And it is expected they're going to announce a record number of fentanyl pills seized just in the Rocky Mountain area over the past year or so. So there's a lot of this poison still out there. And you know, the folks at USU feel it's critically important to train folks to spot those who are in an overdose and hopefully uh, how to treat them and prevent it from becoming fatal. For now, we're live in Taylorsville. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.